but if I wanted to make a town, if the three of us wanted to make a, some kind of town, uh-huh. well, we, uh, I mean, I don't even. Uh, Do we have to own land? I would assume that every parcel of land in the United States is now claimed by somebody. You think so? Well, you can still make a town, though. I mean, there are towns because there are like, townships that aren't right, towns, right? Right. And I mean, there's there are towns that you can actually purchase too that have like population like one to six somewhere in there. They've got like not very many people, and the town itself is dying. You would just go in, build a Starbucks, and then <laughs> like you know serve the adjacent towns. And that right. would be your town. It could be Dustevengertz. And... Kirsten. And it's going to be... Okay, listen, if we're going to call that... If we're gonna, if we're gonna, <laughs> do I get to be mayor? Do you get to be mayor? Triumvirate, the three of us. I built no, the it's Triumvirate's not working. You didn't buy the Starbucks. Bri- I built build it. it. You didn't build it. You brought it in. Well, I brought in some Mexicans. <laughs> There's never been a Mexican that works. You guys don't work. know any Mexicans. <laughs> I don't talk to them. <laughs> they don't work at Starbucks. No, no, they built it, though. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and they painted it. Well, I know, a, I know white kids. Too. So you know, white kids work at Starbucks and <laughs> yeah. get disaffected. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know white kids without insurance, so I'll, get, I'll bring them in. What are you contributing? You bagels. Yeah, yeah, I, I, could, I could do the bagels and the sandwiches. <laughs> Comes with it. So, so we kind of lost track of some things here. Let's come back to the town that we own. But you said I get huge in monument, being a herpetologist. <laughs> and what is, that, what is that? Is that somebody that has herpes? Uh, no, studies herpes. Well, maybe you have to get it in order to really study it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that does Ooh. not look good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and herpes. <laughs> That's um, your thing. You invented a new herpes. Wow. Yeah, I'm a herpetologist. I, I don't know if that would get you... A a no prize. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> More herpes. That's what we needed. Finally, something to bring hand jobs <laughs> to an end. The one thing I had left. <laughs> Just we're looking to the future. Okay. We got our own town now. Okay. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> where we can name everything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the three of us, we ride in one day <laughs> on the horses. <laughs> <laughs> well, our town's not accessible by car, distance, which is why we were able to afford it. We have a population of seven. Uh, us and whom else? Three. Well, no, 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 seven plus us, because they were there before oh, we got the seven, here. The, the Evan Seven. Yeah, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> it will become known as... Oh, here we go, here we go. I'll, I'll do it this way. Um... So, yeah, so they just found this tribe. Are you creating a spreadsheet? <laughs> <laughs> you just pulled out the computer and... Very curious what's about to happen. Uh, so yeah, they found a, uh, this tribe um, in Brazil. In Some Brazil, tribe, yeah. uh, Brazil between Brazil and Peru, um, and there's been rare evidence that a group like that ever existed. They've, this this tribe um, has been never had any contact with the outside world. Um, they're shooting bows and arrows. At the yeah, plane, they don't, those yeah, the plane flew over, took pictures, and they're shooting bows and arrows. Probably killed like five of them. So I don't Coming know how. Right m- down. <laughs> let's so let's forget our seven people. Let's just, just those three guys <laughs> with bows and arrows live there. Wait, we take over this tribe? <laughs> yeah, we go in to the tribe. The first white men that they've ever seen. Riding a horse. <laughs> Riding horses. Right. They look like centaurs to them. <laughs> <laughs> we go in. This and we be- kill them all with their diseases. <laughs> no. Why did you bring diseases? I, you were supposed to bring bagels and sandwiches, <laughs> and you brought diseases. <laughs> yeah. My Mexicans were appalled. <laughs> if this is a tribe that has never seen the outside world, they're not immune to anything. To anything. Yeah. We will give them small <laughs> They are not immune like, to our sarcasm. would ask to borrow my hat and then, like, keel over. <laughs> Why would he want your hat? It would be a nice a hat. hat. It's a nice hat. Okay, so we're going to go in there and we're going to run this town. Um, Into the ground. Uh, <laughs> tribesmen. I'm tribesmen. Don't even realize that they're in a town because they've always just, just lived. Well, right. Well, we're but now we're that. saying you're in a town. <laughs> All our tribesmen are going to do is complain about the service of Starbucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> some white kid in there. <laughs> Why are these employees so disaffected? <laughs> Does my order not matter to them? <laughs> All just, the misconnections just, about the baristas in the your shelves. <laughs> <laughs> you were working at Starbucks. <laughs> I dropped some shells on the counter. I thought we had a moment. I shot bows and arrows at you. <laughs> this is all carved into a tree outside the star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Craigslist lost tribe <laughs> misconnection. <laughs> I said this visual this tribe is like a MacBook. <laughs> He's like working on a screenplay. <laughs> I'm not sure I have enough character development. I'm not sure any of those are words. <laughs> 
other tribes and we're like, no, that's good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really coming together. Okay, so the three of us will go in. I'm mayor. Obviously. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Who you guys want to be? Well, you know how to drive a stick, and that's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> so no, wait, we, we, we have horses. Uh, <laughs> police? Commissioner? Police chief? You want to be the chief of police? Yeah. All right. Can you bring order to this town? You kind of already have order. You can know they don't stop firing their bows and arrows at things. And pull out pants for guys. It's shit. killing the tourism yeah. trade. None of them can go to the Starbucks because none of them own shirts or shoes. <laughs> We've got to fix this. <laughs> what are you doing? Now? <laughs> I'm not leaving you out of this, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I've asked for his resignation several times. <laughs> I choose not to resign. I'm actually going to organize the populace. And bring <laughs> Me and the three tribesmen. <laughs> you can wow. be the head of the city council. <laughs> I'd actually just like to be a celebutant in my new life. Just be famous for being there. They're like, there's Kurt again. What does he do? I don't know. <laughs> he's always driving around, picking up cans. Mm-hmm. Well, now he's driving around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, he's on a bike. Where did I get a bike? What happened on the horse? You invented why, one. Why did I tie a bike to my horse? To <laughs> you bought one. I, I invented from one from the and local general it. store. No, the guy owned the one general of the store. <laughs> I invented the bike. And I purchased it for myself. I didn't want to lose the inventory. <laughs> one of the kids that used to work at the Starbucks when it first opened. He went to college, got a business degree. The college that one of us built. <laughs> right. The only degree we've ever granted. He came back. He opened a bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? Well, I'd kind of like to go to a four-day business school and open a bike shop and sell that bike. Because <laughs> the bike's just been sitting there. Would you like to sell any other bikes? No. <laughs> do we have any other bikes? I was on pack. The current invention. <laughs> I always had a passion for that bike. <laughs> Well, they say, you know, you do what you love, and you'll always be satisfied. <laughs> we have to have law. <laughs> I can't wait for the grand opening. <laughs> Did you say we have to have law, as in we only need one? <laughs> no turkey dinners on Sunday. No! That's, law. That's the Second Amendment right. <laughs> we have amendments. <laughs> we amended the Constitution before we wrote it. <laughs> I can tell we're going to screw this up. <laughs> Probably writing in pencil. <laughs> wow, that's going to be a wicked grand opening at the bike shop. <laughs> Welcome, I'll take the bike. <laughs> we're going to be closing. <laughs> in five minutes. I think I'm going to go back to school. Please make your final purchase and <laughs> <to> leave. <laughs> How many shells would you sell it for? <laughs> sell my shop. <laughs> Don't you get part of it? I just didn't need the bike. He bought it for me wholesale. <laughs> for just a pocket full of banana leaves. <laughs> He's going to mark it up, of course. of course. I mean, he didn't go to four days. Of <laughs> He's got student loans to pay off. Exactly. <laughs> I charge quite a bit for my four-day business. <laughs> He did that un- he did oh. unpaid internship <laughs> oh, at the man. Starbucks. <laughs> Stand there, okay? Don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, let's talk about your the laws then. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Police. Okay. Wait, no, wait. I don't make the laws. I just enforce it. <laughs> I'm not the legislature. I'm just waiting right. around for someone to make a law that I can enforce. we got to get these people to join the city council. <laughs> I think they'd be like, um, I see no more white folks. <laughs> Dustin's like, denied. I've got my big veto stand. <laughs> <laughs> Could the Starbucks okay. nut be 24 hours a day? I mean, well, let's just say there's common law that we brought with us. Common law. <laughs> well, like, yeah. I don't think tribesmen who have never seen the outside world know what common law Well, they know they shouldn't have stole our horses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, they know that now. Now that we gave them all those diseases, they were on our horses. So you say- stole my horse, I gave you smallpox. <laughs> called Where did you even find smallpox? Why yeah, do you care that we can find? But, uh, you know, because they're very small. 